Welcome to Ferrotone Studios. We're going to look at how humbucker covers affect the tone of your guitar. So I'm going to use a Gibson 490R neck pickup from a Gibson SG. We're going to listen to how that sounds on its own and use a brass humbucker cover and a nickel humbucker cover. I will put links to these in the description. These are from Axis R Us and you've got to be careful with humbucker covers because I bought some from Amazon that said they were made of nickel and I scratched all the paint off on the inside ready to solder them on. They were brass. I'm going to strum the guitar with the pickup with no cover and then both pickup covers, see how that sounds and then I'm probably going to have a listen and then comment at the end but let me know what you think. Just to make this as consistent as possible, for those who don't know, this is the Tone Master 3000. My friend Steve loves this guitar. Oh no, <laughs> it's that monstrosity. Because, well it's just so amazing obviously you can tell. What I've done is I've screwed the Gibson pickup to the guitar body uh, and I will just slide the humbucker covers over. It's the easiest way I could think of doing this without anything changing because if you use different pots or different anything, the sound's gonna change. So it's gonna be just put the pickup cover on and see how it sounds. Also, I'm not gonna do a chord. I've tuned it to E minor so that my hand does not interfere with how this sounds. All you're gonna hear is a strum. I've gotta remove as many variants as possible um, so the only variation is going to be well, a humbucker cover and my strumming, but I'm going to try and make it as consistent as possible. Wish me luck. This is how it sounds with no cover. This is the brass cover, it's chrome plated. This is the nickel cover. Now in a second I'm going to edit those together so it's quick so you can hear the tonal differences. Um, and I'm also going to watch it and then comment at the end. So listen to that. What I have noticed is, I, I swear it's a bit brighter. The, the nickel one sounds brighter than the brass. Um, just sounds a bit nicer to my ear. But there's this resonating sound which sounded slower with the brass cover and it's quicker with the nickel cover. So I don't know if you can hear that, it might just be in the room, but there's this sort of resonating hum to the sound and that resonating is faster. I mean, this may sound ridiculous. I mean, it's completely subjective that, but that's the, only, that's the main difference I could hear and this sounds a little bit better. You can see why nickel humbucker covers are more expensive because to my ear that sounded better. Anyway I'll let it that all together make the levels as consistent as possible just so you can hear as fair as possible. Leave some comments, let me know what you think, let me know what you prefer or anything you notice about the sound because I'm about to make a guitar and I'd like to know <laughs> what humbucker cover, because I like a humbucker cover, I think they look better with a cover and I'd like to know which to buy. Nickel are more expensive and to my ear it's a nicer sound but I could be wrong. Right, have a listen. Just been having a listen and looking at the Spectrum Analyzer, without a doubt, without having a humbucker cover, it's definitely brighter, definitely more open. Um, brass, definitely the most dead, and nickel, sort of somewhere in between. And which sort of led me to think, well, 
with her Epiphones, they don't often they often sound darker than a Gibson. You know, that's just how it is. And they probably use brass humbucker covers. I'm wondering if that contributes to why the sound is darker. Just a thought. I mean, it's probably the same for all cheap guitars because you try and save money wherever you can. So I'll definitely go with nickel. Just as a note, the humbucker covers that came off that were nickel. So I think what comes on a Gibson is nickel, which is why it doesn't really affect the sound too much. Um, however, on cheaper guitars, I've noticed they're often brass. And if you buy cheaper pickups, they're often brass. It's not the end of the world. It's almost certainly worth paying the extra few quid to have a nickel humbucker cover and you can have that chrome plated or black like mine, whatever. So I've got to contact Crimson Guitars and find out what humbucker covers they use and if they can get some nickel ones, whack them on. If not, I'm going to arrive with some. Hopefully that was helpful. I've been interested in finding that out for a while. Check out some of the other tone series I've got. So what saddles you should use, what nut you should use, how much tone would affect your sound. Should you use nylon strings and electric guitar? No, you shouldn't. Should you get a fretless guitar? Definitely shouldn't do that either. But it's quite interesting to watch. It just sort of, it gives you a bit of an idea of what makes a difference, what doesn't make a difference. Hopefully it'd be helpful. Please leave some comments. Let me know what you thought because I wasn't expecting there to be that much of a difference, and there definitely is. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. <laughs>